again, welcome back to Jams Nux LPs. I am your host, Jams, and tonight we are going to start off with a brand new video game. I am very much looking forward to playing this game. The game we're going to be playing is Chrono Trigger. It is a fantastic game, one of the best I have ever played. I played this in middle school and I haven't really touched it since. And uh, yeah, it is truly, truly something else. It has uh, multiple endings, a time travel storyline, and some of the best combat I've ever seen in any JRPG of all time. And you know how much I like JRPGs. I mean, I played through Dragon Quest 1 for goodness sakes for you guys. So, the reason why I wanted to do this game is because it does mean a lot to me. It is a bit of a nostalgic game. And it recently just turned 20. Happy birthday, Chrono Trigger. So, for anyone that's never played this game before, and anybody that is interested in a good game, um, you're going to be in for a treat. I will be playing it on my PS3. This is part of the Final Fantasy Chronicles collection for the PlayStation 1, which also came with Final Fantasy 4. It was originally released on the Super Nintendo and is also available on the PlayStation Network, uh, Android devices, uh, iPads, and the Nintendo DS. I would recommend the Nintendo DS version overall, but we're going to be playing the PS1 version because it has the most nostalgia for me personally. So, without further ado, let's get into the game! First thing you gotta do in this game is uh, decide what version of the active time battle system you want to use. I know the load times are a bit much, but give it a break. It's a PlayStation 1 game. Okay, here we go. You want to use active or wait. I usually go with wait because I'm terrible at organizing my inventory in these kinds of games. I'm just going to turn down the TV a little bit before we get started so I can hear myself talk while the music is really fantastic. It does get a little bit loud, so I'm going to turn the game audio down just a smidgen. And, uh, yeah, we should be able to do it. Okay. So we'll go on to wait. And, uh, yeah, you can name your character anything you want to. Uh, Chrono is a silent protagonist, but for the sake of consistency, we're just going to leave him at Chrono, okay? Okay. So, let's get started. I've been telling Nux about this game, trying to get him hyped for this LP. He may or may not jump in. It really just depends on what he wants to do. So the game opens up here. Beautiful harbor scene. In case you can't tell, they're shooting fireworks off. There's big balloons. What's going on, I bet you're wondering. Well, you're about to find out. When I first started this game, I didn't really know what to make of the art style or design. I never really had done much of anything like this. You know, with this kind of art style, I wasn't quite used to Akira Toriyama's artwork. If you don't know who Akira Toriyama is, he is the composer, no, not the composer, but he's the artist, rather, of uh, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. He wrote those. Um, and Hironobu Sakaguchi did the, uh, directed this along with Yuji Hori, who did... Uh, they did Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest, respectively, and basically this is just the dream team of everyone involved in RPGs at the time. It's truly exciting stuff. So, yeah. Opens up with Chrono. Chrono! Good morning, Chrono! Like most games of this ilk, you get woken up by your mother. Come on, sleepyhead, get up! Ah, Lean's Bell makes such beautiful music. These graphics are really good. Some of the best pixel art you'll ever see, I think. 
You were so excited about the Millennial Fair that you didn't sleep well, did you? I want you to behave yourself today. So, let's get moving now. You got my cat there. Yeah, I sleep in my bandana. Do a couple squats. Hua, hua. Let's go. I just take a moment and listen to that music. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that just lovely? Alright, I'll take a look at the options here. So you got your uh, stats there, you see your money, tech, you can change the music, stereo on, battle speed, window color, yeah, you can change the window color to a bunch of different options, but I like the default, so we're just going to leave it at that. Uh, battle gauge, um, da 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 da. Gonna bump this up to fast because nobody likes to wait for that shit. Alright. Nice thing about this game is you. Well, I, if I recalled correctly, you can't. You can save anywhere you want to, but I guess I was wrong. Okay then, so. Let's get downstairs. The nice thing about this game is it's got a run button. Very handy. It was in the Super Nintendo version too, I found out. I thought it was something that was, you know, implemented for this release, but I was wrong. So let's just head on downstairs. Finally! By the way, that inventor friend of yours. Oh, you know. Oh dear, I've forgotten her name. Just gonna leave her at the default, which is Luca, if I remember. Yeah, it's Luca. That's right, Luca. Don't forget that she invited you to see her new invention. Run along now and be back before dinner. But I was going into Toshi Station to pick up some power converters. You can waste time with. Okay. Kitty! And the cat will follow you around since you pet her. Kind of cute. Anyway. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your allowance, dear. Have fun at the fair. Give me all your money. Alright, let's go. Now, this does have an overworld, as you can see here. But it's not quite the same as other overworlds because uh, there are no random encounters. So you can check up on all of these different places in town if you really want to, or you could just head straight to the fair. We'll go to Lucas House first. Let's do that. No real reason to, just exploring the game world. It's been a long week, and I want to kick back and relax a little bit. I had two tests, and that's partially why this video is so late in coming, and I do apologize for that. It's just, it's difficult sometimes, you know when life gets in the way of things that are important to you anyway i mean not not important not that I, not that i this is not important to me but you know school is more important you got to got to get that degree this is luca's mother the important plot development happens later with her her name's lara Oh, hi, Chrono. luca's off at lean square with her father tabin unveiling her new invention Oh, one thing that's kind of nice is you can move around when you talk to people, and you can move this up or down, whichever way you want. It's kind of nice. You do that by pushing the square button, just so you know. But yeah, this game, like, bends over backwards to try and please you. And I guess that's another reason why it's so great. Alright. Head over to the market. Maybe we can get something, maybe we can upgrade our equipment already with the 600G that we have. I can't really remember. I did beat this game in middle and high school, so... Oh, okay, so they're all at the fair. It's like the game's way of saying, GO TO THE FAIR, YOU TWAT! Now let's go to this residence first before we do that. 
Dum 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 dum. That brat Lucas says she's made a discovery of a lifetime. I'm so happy I could scream. Really? Okay. Whatever floats your boat, lady. Residence, uh, Kronos House. Residence, it's my neighbor. Let's go bother the neighbor. Hard to believe Guardia is now 1,000 years old and our king is the 33rd descendant to the throne. But how can he rule a kingdom when he can't even control his own daughter? What's that? Intrigue, you say? Da -da -da -da. I'm messing with you. Alright, let's just get to the fair. Fair music's really nice. Do 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 Ha! Yeah, you can bet on the races. Welcome to the Millennial Fair. Have fun. I heard Luca and her dad have made another crazy invention. Hope it doesn't blow up like all the others. This is Lean Square. They say people here Lean's bell ring will have interesting and happy lives. Press the X button while facing the bell. Judge your distance carefully and press the circle button. Alright. Boom! Didn't get it. Let's try again. Oh man, I'm so rusty at this. <clears throat> okay, one more time. We'll try it. Judge carefully. Ah, almost. I almost had it that time. Good thing they're not charging money for this. Okay, so you gotta be at the very edge of it. Come on. I used to be quite good at this. Almost had it that time. There we go. Impressive. I'll put one silver point on your card. Okay, then. The race is on. Be quiet and watch. I heard this guy pays big bucks for charms, weapons, pendants, and other rarities. Buy something for Melky or the Swordsmith? Sure, let's go ahead and see what he has to offer. Maybe it'll be an upgrade to what we have. What do you know? We can. We actually have enough money for it, too. I live on the continent to the east. Come see me sometime. Now let's just equip that really quick. There we go. Now I'll just go back over here and we'll uh, try and sell our bamboo sword. That's what we ought to be able to do. Oh gosh, this just, I'm sorry, it just, it, it brings back so many fond memories of just coming home from school after, after Sunday school, just pop this sucker into the PlayStation 2 and play the hell out of it until lunchtime. Yeah, I had a pretty good childhood, I think. Can't anyone beat G.I. Jogger? Sure, I can, because I have a run button. Uh, we'll do the races later. What's the big deal? So what if we won a war against a wizard hundreds of years ago? That will become important very soon, so pay attention to that. Okay, you see this lady walking around here? We're gonna bump into her. Hey! Ouch, that hurt. There's the bell, we're gonna lead interesting lives. I'm so sorry, are you okay? Uh-oh, my pendant! Don't tell me I lost it. So we're, let's be nice and give her back the pendant since we bumped into her. Hey, lady! Woo! Oh my goodness, my pendant! It has a lot of sentimental value, you know. May I have it back? No, you can't. Yeah, you, yeah, you can. I came to see the festival. You live in this town, don't you? They feel quite out of place here. Would you mind if I walked around with you for a while? Okay, why not? You're a true gentleman. 
She's way too happy to be walking next to me. Oh, by the way, my name is... Uh, 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 um, uh, uh, what is your name? Hmm? Marley. I'm going to name her Marley. We're going to keep it that... Keep that shit 100. Um, Marley, and you're... Chrono? What a nice name. Pleased to meet you. Now lead on. There's our first party member. You have one silver point. One to exchange? No, I don't. No time to talk. I was just sitting down for my lunch. Now, you can eat his lunch, but I wouldn't advise it because that'll come back to bite you in the butt later on. So don't do that. Uh. Wow, where's my cat? Okay. So you see the kitty here? We've got to get it to follow us. Come on, kitty. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. Let's go. Don't be such a pussy. Come on. All right. Let's get this girl her kitty cat. You brought my cat back. Thank you. You're so sweet, Chrono. Somebody's getting laid tonight. It's a soda guzzling contest. Press the X button as fast as you can. Oh boy, quick time events. Woo! Ready, set, go. See how many we can get. Just fill up this fucking table. Ah, seven cans. Is that the best I can do? You're awfully competitive, aren't you, Colonel? We'll try one more time. I and mean, I was so close to getting them all filled up. Oh, this would be so much easier if I had a turbo controller or something. Oh, dang, I almost had it again. Okay. For the record, guys, I really am competitive in real life, so, yeah. Kind of a mess. Oh, this is murdering my hands so much. Ah, oh, okay, you know what? Screw it. Forget it. Let's go to the dance. Catchy rhythm. Press triangle to triangle square L1 and R1 to dance. Prehistoric dance. How enchanting. Let's get up there and dance. La di da di da di da. We got some spending money from the elder. Mm -hmm. Pressing the circle button and dashing there. I'm just poop, but this dance has rejuvenated me. Jurassic Rhythm! Jurassic Rhythm! Jurassic Rhythm! Let's do the dance of my people. Oh man, we're already 18 min We're already about 18 minutes into this video, and we haven't really done anything yet. I'm having so much fun already. Oh man, this pixel art is so good. Let's try to earn some silver points. Yo 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 yo! They call me Gato. I have metal joints. Beat me up and earn 15 silver points. Now I get to show you how the battle system works. This is a nice quick tutorial on how this battle system works for those unacquainted with the ATB battle system of the Final Fantasy games. Oh no! Oh shit, I actually hurt. Critical! Why me?! You quite through. We win! I lost. You won. He has 15 points. Now wasn't that fun? Yeah! <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Get out of my way, old man. Don't want to eat your lunch. I hate fairs. Hey, do you know the latest gossip? No. Just between us, I think that the king is stressed over his tomboy of a daughter. Just once, I would like to see how wild she really is. Um, okay. They're all setting up. Why don't you come back in a while? Okay. Let's go back down here. Enjoy the fair a little more. Well, there were other places that we didn't explore up there, actually, now that I think about it. We didn't go down the... Yeah, we actually did, didn't we? And yeah, did different angles. Okay. What is she after? This kingdom's been through a lot, like the war against Magus 400 years ago. Thank goodness things are so peaceful now. Yeah, I know. Just do it one more time. Show off my muscles to my lady friend. Yeah. Come on, do it once. Come on, you can do it. There we go. This is the renowned Tent of Horror. Spend your 17 silver points here. Parental discretion advised. Uh, before we do that, let's uh, bet on the race. Last round's winner, Green Ambler. Guess the winner? Sure. Let's go with... Cadillac. Why not? Because I like puns. Go, kitty, go! Go, kitty! Kitty, go! Run, kitty! Kitty, what are you doing? No! Kitty, run! Fast! Go! No! You must go! Faster! Run! Run like the kitty you are! Eh, we didn't get it. Oh, well. Let's go inside Norstein Beckler's lab. Now, interesting little bit of trivia about this place is uh, the fact that Norstein Beckler here has Kefka's laugh from Final Fantasy VI. Just listen. I don't know if you could hear that, but... Welcome to the Norstein Beckler lab. The spine tingling show is about to start. How many silver points would you like to pay? I'm Vix. I'm Wedge. I'm Piet. Fine, Piet. We lose. Oh, well, it's not important right now, but it will be later, so be prepared for that. Wonder if we can get up there now. They're still sitting up. Why don't you come back in a while? Hmm. Hmm. Trying to remember what I need to do now. Like I said, it has been a while since I've played this, and, uh, yeah. I don't know. Buy something for Milky or No thanks. By the way... Could you talk to that young lady in selling, into selling her pendant? No, it's not. Well, hmm. Let's try it now. Maybe that was the event that we needed to trigger. Eh, hey, trigger. Guess we have to do that. Oh my, it's the pendant. Uh, sorry, I, but I can't buy that. It's far too special. Keep it safe. Hmm, that sounds important. 
Welcome to the Millennial Fair! Have fun! Well, I am having fun, but I would like to advance the story now. Maybe I need to leave the fair and come back. Hmm. I don't know. That's the inn. We don't need to go there. Let's take her back to the house. My, how nice. I've only seen you with Luca. Who's your new pretty friend? Hi, I'm Marley. Er, Marley? I'm sure I've seen you before, dear. Now, where was that? Hmm. Those burners are busy racing, so they won't talk to you. Well, I don't want to talk to them, because they lose all the time. Well, we are... Why would you ask us to sell the metal when... Ugh, never mind, forget it, it's not important. Keep going if you want to demo Lu Luca's robot battle trainer. Collect silver points if you win. Get out of the way. Okay. Let's try the soda one more time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You know, it's amazing he can even walk. He's like drank 21 cans of fucking soda since he's woken up this morning. Hmm. Pretty sure there's event an event that I need to do. It's probably around here someplace. I hate fairs, yes. And scram. Joik? Don't have that much. Oh man, where am I supposed to go? I can't even remember. Hmm. Maybe I needed to do this. Buy some tonics. Probably it is a good idea. Yeah, they're called tonics in this game. We'll buy... We'll buy ten of them. And we'll buy five of these. And that's about all we can heal. That's about all we can have right now. Lucas' device is all set up. She's at the north end of the square. That's what you needed to do, is you had to talk to everybody in town. Okay. Well, let's go. Hold your horses, I want to get some candy. Alright, get your damn candy. Now, it's crucial that you wait here for her while she picks it out. So, just take a break, pop a cold one, let her take her time. Hi, I'd like some of this. Sure, young lady. Thanks for waiting. All right.
Step right on up, any of you who have the time and the courage. Our super dimension warp is the invention of the century. To use it, jump over here. And you'll get teleported here. It's the masterwork of my beautiful daughter, Luca. There's me! Sounds like fun. Luca's inventions never work right. Check out that girl's glasses. She couldn't probably see the backside of the moon. She could probably see the backside of the moon with those. Well, aren't you guys fucking polite? Give it a try, kid. Oh, it's you, Chrono. Chrono? Where have you been? Nobody wants to try the telepod. How about you? It looks like fun. I'll watch while you try it out. Just hop onto the left pod. Okay. All systems on. Begin energy transfer. Whoa. Oh, wow. That was great. So how was it? Want to try it again? It worked? I can't believe it! Uh, uh, what a thrilling display of science at its best, ladies and gentlemen! Check out that girl... Okay. So you're gonna want to talk to uh, Marley here. So she wa she want she'll want to try it. What a kick! I want to try it too! Huh? Hey, Chrono, how did you end up with a cutie like her? Hang on, Chrono, I'll be right there! Behold, ladies and gentlemen, as this vision of loveliness steps aboard the machine. Don't go away. I'll be right back. You're sure about this? There's still time for you to change your mind. You'll be sorry. No way. Now throw the switch. Yes, master. Okay, everyone, let's give her a great big hand when she reappears. All systems on. Begin energy transfer. Deduce, you say? What's going on? What is this? What's happening? My pendant, it's... Huh? She's gonna blow! I tore open a portal in time and flung her into the future where my evil is law. Luca, where is she? Show's over, folks. Let's head along now. What's going on, Luca? Where is she? Hmm. Calculating. The way she disappeared. It couldn't have been the telepod. The warp field seemed to be affected by her pendant. What are we gonna do now? She's so familiar. I know I've seen her somewhere. I'll volunteer as tribute. Chrono? You're actually going to do it! What a fine lad! Listen, I don't know where this machine is going to send you, but we don't have any other choice. Won't they both be lost? This is our only hope. That pendant seems to be the key, so hang on to it, Chrono, and brace yourself. All systems on! Begin energy transfer. Power to full! We'll have to go to ludicrous speed! Roger! More! Give me more power! Roger! There! We did it! I'll follow you after I know what went wrong. Good luck, Chrono! Find me in the future! Drugs are bad, guys, so we here at Jams Nux do not endorse the use of drugs, so just be aware of that. Oh, 
oh, oh, that does my head in since I'm stand sitting so close to the TV to record this. Whew. Oh, gosh. So, Portal teleported us somewhere. We'd have no idea where. But, we get ambushed. And our first real fight is with some goblins. Or at least what appear to be goblins, although they kind of look like Emperor Pilaf from Dragon Ball. And he kicks me in the dick. And he kicks me in the butt. So I slash at him. And he dies. Yeah, if you can't beat these guys on your first try, just give up playing video games. Take up trains or something. Because there's no hope for you. So... This water still looks pretty good. So we're gonna fight these guys. Easy experience. No trouble at all. And we leveled up. We learned a, we learned a tech. Now one thing about techs is that they make this game very easy, but not too easy. And we found a tonic, and there's a chest over here, we're gonna pick that up too. We got the power glove, not the power glove, oh no! I, I think it's an accessory in this game, let's find out what it does. Okay, power glove, accessory, increases your power by two, we're gonna use that. Alright then. Yeah, it stops the record of the music whenever you, like, get into a fight. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, dead. Oh, he hit me. Oh, shit. I might need to use a health thing in a minute. After we clean house. Yeah, there we go. That's what we like. And we got a tonic, so it's not like it's going to affect us at all. Okay. Cool. So we healed up. Let's continue our journey. It looks an awful lot like truce. But who knows where we could possibly have wound up. And where on earth is Marley? Your answers will f come in the next video. So, thank you for watching guys. Take care, have a good night. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Okay? Okay. See ya.